Hi friends, I am so happy to be back with a new video for you. I have been obsessed with the busted canvas. Have you noticed the busted canvas trend that's happening? This is a new viral craft that is just all over the internet and I couldn't wait to try it. I'd love to know if you have heard of the busted canvas or if you have even tried making these fun busted canvas projects. So in today's video, I am making my first busted canvases and I actually made three of them three different ways. And in my next video, which is a follow up from this one, I'm gonna show you how I took the busted canvas technique and turned it into a greeting card. Then I had to just kick that up a notch and turn it into a busted canvas shaker card. Oh my goodness, I've been having so much fun. So without further ado, let's start stamping. For my first canvas, I am going to use a six by six um, sheet of Designer Series paper. This is from the Meandering Meadows. I have my Mod Podge and uh, I just got a new pack of our Country Woods. Yeah, Country Woods, and look at it, it's, it's just gonna match perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this, get this rocking and rolling for you. I have been biting at the bit to make these because I've been so excited. This is the opposite side of this. So I'm gonna show you what I've pulled out of my craft closet. Do you guys have craft closets like I do where you find all kinds of paraphernalia, crafts that you want to work on, different bits and pieces. Yeah, I went through my closet the other day and found all kinds of good stuff. So I have um, picture frames, which I think I might try with this technique as well. Maybe not in this video, but I'm going to. And then I have um, some canvas boards that I have from the dollar store. These are eight by 10. You know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make it real easy and I'm just gonna trace. I haven't made these yet. I've been wanting to make these. So I thought, well, I'm not just gonna go ahead and make a bunch without filming in case they turn out really, really good and then I'll be kicking myself in the Batinsky for not um, filming at the same time. So I'm just, I'm just gonna use a pen. And if I were really smart, um, I'm gonna flip this over so I don't see the pen mark. So I'm just gonna line this up and if I have to, uh, sand off the edges afterwards I will so I'm gonna take my handy dandy pen and go this way and then I'm gonna use my paper trimmer to cut that out uh, when I have seen these online people who are making these are also using canvas boards on their project um, and I don't have any and I don't feel like driving into town just for that and so I'm gonna improvise and use the backings that come in the back of our Designer Series paper. So let's just pull that Designer Series paper back. I'm talking about this. I don't see why not. And that saves us, well, a buck because, or whatever. Well, it's not much at the dollar store for a dollar anymore, is there? But anyways, use what you have, save some money. I have my 8x10 Designer Series paper, my 6x6 DSP, my 8x10 uh, cardboard backing. Now I need a piece of Designer Series paper to fit inside of this. So let me find my ruler that's already missing. Okay, so I'm gonna measure the inside, which is approximately uh, eight and a half by six and a half ish. So I'm going to cut another piece of this designer series paper to measure eight and a half by six and a half. Alrighty. This piece, it's what's going to get glued on the inside. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I've seen all kinds of different ways where people have done this with an iron and parchment paper and a lot of cool fun ways. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna do it normal. Um, I thought I had a, a cup of water on my desk. Hmm. Let me go get one. It's quite funny. On my way to the kitchen, I swear there's a trail of stamp and dimensional backings 
from my stamp room in the hallway down to the kitchen. Um, yeah. How does that happen? Okay, so I'm just getting my... This is one of my good toll painting brushes. So I'm going to make sure I, <laughs> I really clean this well afterwards. Okay. Um, and I haven't used my Mod Podge forever and a day. So I'm going to give this a quick stir. And I'm going to use... An old stencil brush for that. Again, I have the things. I have the foam brush. I have popsicle sticks that would have worked great for stirring this. But you just can't seem to find these things sometimes when you need them, which is why I try to clean my stamp room. But then I tend to make it worse. Then I can't find anything. I tell ya. It's a real thing, isn't it? It's a real thing. Okay carry on. Let's zoom in just a smidgen. Okay, I am going to just put my Mod Podge on. I feel like I need paper underneath this. Hang on. I don't want to get a messy desk. Okay, it's better. Because I'm right-handed, I'm going to put this over here. There we go. Okay. Put on my Mod Podge. Have you guys made one of these? Let me know in the comments. If you have seen these uh, busted canvases, I would love to know how many of you have seen these and how many of you have not. Because you know how it is. Once you start watching something on YouTube, then you start seeing tons of it in your feed, right? Of course. And so now I'm seeing so many variations on how you can make these that I don't know how I sleep at night because my brain just gets going and I just get so excited and then all I want to do is just create and create and who needs clean laundry who needs to eat <laughs> who needs to clean the house you know like you just want to put everything on hold so you can just play and well I guess that's part of being an adult we have things we need to do sometimes right so today is the day where I'm like I am making these busted canvases so that I can not only have fun with them myself but I've been wanting to share them with you guys in case you have not seen these and then my whole idea about um, turning this idea into greeting cards yeah I just today's the day Today is the day. I'm trying to make sure I get this Mod Podge into all the little nooks and crannies, like right in the corners. Okay, I'm going to clean this brush right away. Because did I mention this is one of my good toll painting brushes, which I haven't done toll painting for years. I'd also be interested to know those of you who have done toll painting. Let me know in the comments. Remember toll painting? Does anybody still do toll painting? I used to love painting Russian, uh, painting birdhouses with Russian flowers. That's where you used three different colors, like, you know, purple, maybe a couple blues, and each, each petal was dipped in gold and didn't clean it till it was done. I think there was like 36 brush strokes. Oh my gosh, I love making those. Okay. I am just going to put this on. See, I probably could have taken off just a tiny, tiny little, no, I'm, no, I'm going to say it's pretty darn good. Where's my bone folder? I'm going to grab a bone folder. And just really get this on, get all the bubbles out. These bone folders are pretty handy dandy, aren't they? Okay, so that's step numero uno done as far as the canvas goes. Okay, so I'm just adding my Mod Podge to the entire front of this piece. The tutorials that I've seen is um, where you can let the Mod Podge dry completely, then put a piece of parchment paper on top and then your paper and use a dry iron which will will melt the Mod Podge enough so that you can um, put your paper on top and not get any wrinkles. I could do that but I'm not going to. 
I'm not going to. I'm just going to do this. But I thought that was a really cool way to adhere things together. So this is going to go on just like that. Get it on there good. Get out. Well, there's no wrinkles, but any air bubbles or anything, make sure you get them out. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to bring this piece back in and now I want to cover the front of it. So you have options. There's so many options. There's so many variations of this fun, fun project. You can paint this. You could use your inks and a stencil on it. You can do mixed media um, for a background or you can put designer series paper on it. I'm going to put designer series paper on it. So I'm going to cut another piece of designer series paper that measures 8 by 10. And I've, I've decided to use this piece right here because there's some, some of this color in the trees as well as in between the, uh, the blue on this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down at 8 by 10 and glue it onto the front. If you have not seen these, I'm telling you, you're going to have your mind blown when you see how this all comes together. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover this. I'm not going to worry about the edges because I'm going to put ribbon around the edges. I'm going to use a hot glue gun as well. So I'm going to be pulling out my hot glue gun in a second. Make sure you really get a good coat of this Mod Podge on here. Now I have this drawing. I'm going to move on to a second one and I'm going to show you how you can incorporate a card um, for on your, your canvas. So this is a card that I made last month using the Reindeer Fun stamp set and I'm just going to trim it up so that it's just the front layer. So now measures four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm bringing in a piece of real red cardstock and I'm going to cut it so that I can mount this on it and I think I'm going to add about half an inch all around. So I have cherry cobbler on this base. It's cherry cobbler with my gray and I'm going to be using the reindeer designer series paper that coordinates with the reindeer fun and there's real red which this is real red so I want to pull out more real red so that's why I have this so I'm gonna cut it at let's see four and a quarter I'm gonna cut it at four and three quarters and I'm gonna cut it at six I'm going to cut these papers just like I did on the first board. I'm going to do this with pecan pines. I'm going to take my black memento and just go right around the edge. Give that a coat of Mod Podge as well. I just happen to have some dazzling diamond glitter. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on. I pulled this out of a calendar. It's a Susan Branch calendar. I think it was from like 2018 and I just loved it. So I thought this would be really pretty to have in my kitchen. And I have decided I'm going to paint my canvas for this one. And I'm going to pull out that little bit of green right here. So I have some old uh, Ceram coat by Delta in Christmas green. And that's what I'm going to paint this canvas for. This is 
painted and I have gone ahead and put my, this is designer series paper. I want to say it's, it's from the St. Nicholas, um, D DSP, um, which was out last year and then it was in our, uh, on our clearance rack. So I'm not sure if there's still some in there, but I thought how perfect is that pattern to go with, with this. I mean, absolutely ideal. But this is a little bit big, right? So I'm going to cut off the edge of this. All right, let me show you what we've got because now it's time to put my, my canvases together. So this is uh, the first one that we have. So, and I've got glitter everywhere. Okay. And then this is going to be the second one. It's going to be landscape. And I decided to use the holly paper for that one. And then the uh, Susan Branch one. And that's also going to go that way. And I kept the paper the same for that one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is start with the first one. So I am just... Actually, I want to stamp on this one first. I recently bought this kit. I've been looking at it for quite some time and during our kit sale, I finally snagged it. So this is the best destination kit. I just, I love the cards and I love the, um, the stamp set that comes with it, which is going to be great for my scrapbooking and even for this as well as other cards. So uh, the sentiment I'm going to use on this, there's two of them. I'm going to stamp the adventure is just the beginning happiness is no I'm going to stamp uh, this is the journey and then I'm going to stamp happiness is the best destination and then I am going to pull in the retired beside me is this retired I think oh gosh I can't remember uh, no I think this is still current anyways I'm going to use these birds so I'm going to stamp the sentiment first and I'm going to stamp this, um, hmm, not really sure what color yet. Life is a journey. And I'm going to stamp with first mark and emboss with gold. Perfect. I love it. All right, let's get some birds on here. Glue this to my chipboard. Not really chipboard, but you know. And I'm just going to put it right in the center. I'm bringing in my foam mat and I'm gonna put that on top I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and I'm just gonna poke a dot right in the center like so and then for this one I'm just gonna take my scissors go right down get the cut going you can use an exacto knife. You can make your cuts as wide or as narrow as you like. I'm going to do a few cuts on this one. And I'm not going right to the edge, right? I have my hot glue gun warming up as well. I think that's, um, I think that's, hmm, I think I'll do one more here. Okay. So this is going to be the busted out part, right? 
If you want to make them a little bit longer, you can. I think that's good. I think that's good. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Okay, now I'm going to glue this on to the back. So these are going to reveal the picture behind, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my hot glue and put it right on the edge of the frame. There's glitter in this hot glue. I'm thinking this hot glue is left over from my wedding. It has to be regular ones. Better hurry so that doesn't dry on me. If you need to trim anything up afterwards you can. See how that dried really quick on me there? All right. So that is glued on. And then we're going to start pulling back so we can reveal the picture underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to curl these up a bit. And it's just a matter of rolling and gluing. Pull that over and hold it down. You're just going to do that all the way around. we go and I know that there's a gap there but I have a plan for that so there is the busted canvas now we're gonna do the decorating so I have some moss that I'm going to just glue in Got a little bit messy so I'm just gonna put my glue here I'm just gonna go to town and play. So this is not finished, but I'm gonna go ahead and bust the other canvases and then come back and add all the different details. Put my picture on, let's quickly do that. And you can cover the back of this with some more designer series paper as well. decided I wanted to add some crumb cake ink to the busted canvas part and I will say that cutting the canvas that just has the paint on it way easier than the piece that has the um, the front piece that has the chipboard and the designer series paper and I also know this is going to be a lot easier to glue down because it's not as um, thick and heavy. So, little heads up on that. And the reason why I'm going to finish decorating these after I hot glue all these busted pieces down is because I have to go into town and I'm going to swing into a dollar store and see what I can find because I've got some ideas on uh, different ways I want to finish these pieces. You could use die cuts, you could use ribbons, you could use punches, you could use all those things but since I have to go into town anyways I'm going to just go take a little looky-loo especially since I have some Christmas things out and uh, yeah I just think it's gonna be like way 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 fun these are very very addictive okay so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down uh, actually before I do that I'm gonna glue this on Imagine doing this with vintage recipes uh, imagine doing this with photos certificates yeah you're gonna want to get some more canvases I know I'm gonna be picking up more canvases when I'm in town as well okay 
Make sure it's right side up. Look. And I, I did go through my stash. I dehydrated a whole bunch of um, oranges. So I'm going to be putting, I know I'm going to be putting an orange on here. Different odds and sods. This would have looked really good stamped with like, I don't know. But I think this would have been really fun stamped. Anyways, let's proceed. And I also find it easier to um, put my glue on the canvas and then roll this onto the glue. So let's get some more glue. I went to the dollar store and got myself some fun little goodies that I'm going to be using to decorate my frames with. Just all kinds of fun stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead, fast forward um, as I finish decorating.
I had an absolute blast making these busted canvas um, pictures. You can just put them in a little stand and set them on a shelf or you can make um, a little loop with some ribbon to hang them on the wall. The sky is really the limit with these, you guys, and I hope you give this a try if you haven't already. This is such an addictive, fun, fun, fun project. Great gifts, and I hope you got lots of great ideas today. Thanks for watching, friends. Be back soon. Take care.